Now let's talk about optimization. You know your keywords, now where do you put them? There's various places on a page that have more impact than others. The big ones I like to call the three kings, but let's just list them all out first. First is the URL. Second is the SEO title tag. And the page title or H1. After that, we have our subheadings, H2s, H3s, and H4s, and then the content itself. The top three are the real big hitters. They basically define what the page is about. You need to get these right. So here's how to optimize for the three kings. First, get your keyword research list from Ahrefs. In this example, I'm using a sample keyword, DIY vitamin C serum, and I've sorted through its keywords from most search volume to least. Now you want, to get, you want to start optimizing the URL. These are the rules. Try to get the frequently repeated single words into the slug. The slug is the part of the URL that comes after the forward slash after the domain name. So in this example, the words DIY, vitamin C, and serum are coming up a lot in this list, and these words are also present in the top keyword with the most search volume. Next, keep the URL short, a maximum of three to four words in the slug, an example of a good one would be this, website.com, DIY vitamin C serum. An example of a bad one would be this, where it's just way too long. Also make sure not to repeat words in any part of the URL. This URL is fine, where you can see that I'm just not repeating any words, but in this one, I've repeated the word DIY twice. This sets you up for over-optimization issues, which let me tell you, Google does not like. Now let's talk about the SEO title tag. First, what the heck is it? This is the title that you fill out using your SEO WordPress plugins like Yoast or All-in-One. How it looks in the HTML is that it comes out between these angle bracket title tag things. It's also what's displayed in the actual Google result when your site comes up in the listings. The rules for optimizing the title tags are simple. Just like with the URL, you try to get the frequently occurring single words in there. Take the important keyword phrases and don't break them up with words in between. So in this example, basically, I wouldn't write DIY tips to make vitamin C serum. I would keep the phrases together, the phrase together, then push these words towards the front of the title tag. Write in English. Don't write something like DIY vitamin, home, <laughs> DIY vitamin C serum homemade recipe how to make. Don't repeat words just like with the SEO title. Keep the link to about 60 characters. And lastly, just a quick word on clickbait. Clickbait is good. Adding something like six awesome ways to make vitamin C serum in 2019 for free, it's gonna get a lot of clicks. But don't worry about this until you're actually ranking high on page one and in range of getting clicks. People say that the best place to hide a dead body is on page two of Google. I couldn't agree more. Don't focus on clickbait until you're page one. The SEO title tag I would make for this keyword research would be DIY vitamin C serum, how to make it using a homemade recipe. As we can see here, all the single words of the top four keywords have coverage in the title. The word DIY shows up here, so does vitamin C serum, homemade, etc. Last but not least, the page title. What is it? This is what you fill out at the top of your WordPress page editor. 99% of WordPress themes will take this page title and translate that into an H1 header tag on your page, which is essentially the main topic or title of that article. This is a very important point as you don't want to have two main topics for an article. So make sure that your theme isn't doing something stupid like putting in multiple H1s for aesthetics. What are the rules for the page title? The same thing as the SEO title tag, but just don't make them exactly the same. Scramble them up. As we, here's the final page title that I would use for this keyword research. As we can see here, it's in English. It's not double counting words. It's different than the SEO title tag. And all four of the top keywords are covered again. So now you've learned pretty much 50% of optimizing a page. The three kings are freaking huge. When I do a consultation I see an issue with them, I expect to see a great result after they're done implementing it. If I'm auditing a site for purchase and they have issues, this is a huge motivator for me to buy it because I know I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna get a huge increase. Uh, this is what results look like. We got this guy Mark talking about some huge gains after he got a consultation. All we really focused on was the three kings, super easy.